Welcome back. This is Dale with Computer Aftercare again, and today I want to show you how to clean temp files with CCleaner. Now, if you've already downloaded and installed CCleaner in the Get Started section, you can go ahead and just double click the icon to run it. I've set the user account control prompt, and here's the main window. As you can see, CCleaner gives you a little bit of information about your system, like it shows here which version of Windows I'm running, what kind of processor I have, what how much RAM I have and a little bit about my video card. Now you got four modules here. You got the cleaner, you got the registry cleaner, you got some tools and options. Now the cleaner part is the main part we want to focus on in this video, cleaning your temp files. It's very easy to do. Basically I'm just going to show you what it's going to clean and then we'll go ahead and run the cleaner. Now you can tailor what you want it to clean, uh, what you might want to leave behind say you don't want to delete last download locations, uncheck the box. Here's the list of Windows Explorer items it'll clear out. Here's some system files. And then there's applications such as your browsers like Firefox. And you got applications like Microsoft Office is pretty popular. Your different internet browsers, Skype, uTorrent. Uh, depending what programs you actually have installed, will dictate what you might see show up on the list here as well. And here's some multimedia applications, very common ones like Flash, Player, Shockwave, Silverlight, Windows Media Player. Uh, here's some utilities I have installed like Malwarebyte, Super Anti Spyware, Windows Defender, which comes with Windows. Uh, Windows, you got some other temp file areas here. And uh, I pretty much just leave everything at default when I do a cleanup. I usually don't care about leaving anything behind. If there is anything though that I am interested in leaving behind it might be the Windows mini dump folder and let me show you that here. If you go to computer and go to C and Windows if you've ever had a blue screen it's very likely that it might have made a mini dump folder and uh, I have had one here I created. Mine's actually empty there's nothing in it, but if you've ever had a blue screen and it created a mini dump, you might have some files on here that can actually be analyzed, which may give you a clue as to what caused your blue screen. And if you run CCleaner before you have a chance to analyze that folder, then you just lost your chance of seeing what your problem might have been, and you're going to have to wait for it to blue screen again. So what I'll usually do is I'll copy the contents or that entire folder to another location before I run CCleaner. Anyways, let's go ahead and just run the cleaner. This is what you do right here, run cleaner. And if you do this every day, it's going to go relatively quick. There it goes. Just cleaned off 57.7 megabytes. Here I have a list of what it cleared. And uh, sometimes some people might be interested in what it might clear before they actually clear anything and you can always click analyze first and it'll give you a list and then you can run the cleaner. When you first install this you have some options to also allow it to update or check for updates automatically and you'll see some prompts from time to time if that happens. If you opted not to do automatic updates you can always go over here and check for updates manually occasionally. And here it says right here, I have a new one. I know this just recently came out here, version 4. And uh, the methods to install that are covered in the Get Started section. And over here, if you click the little pair icon here, you can actually visit their website. And you can go learn some more information about Pureform Products, the company behind CCleaner. And the support section will also give you more information where you can learn more about CCleaner specifics. Anyways, for the most part, it's as easy as just clicking Run Cleaner after you open the program. It's that simple. And it's always good to do a disk cleanup, a full disk cleanup, before you ever defragment, so uh, consider this. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show you, how to run CCleaner. This is Dale with Computer Aftercare. Thank you and bye-bye.